Shoot for the moon, and if you fall short, at least you'll be amongst the stars. It's a nice sentiment, if only it were true. It's more like, shoot for the moon, and if you fall short, you'll be amongst the enormous amount of trash orbiting the Earth. <laughs> now that's true, so don't fall short. Or maybe best not to shoot for the moon. Like most people, I'm open to taking risks as long as I'm guaranteed a positive outcome that comes at no cost to myself. So when people say things like, take risks, be bold, change the world, I'm left with a burning, unanswered question. Why? Especially since doing such things might actually kill me. But the answer started to take shape during my time at Harvard, with credit due to a former undergrad. For the last five years, I've been a resident tutor in Mather House. <laughs> Where it's truly been a joy to work with hundreds of amazing students to whom I've doled out such insightful wisdom as do not go to grad school. <laughs> Unless you're willing to endure long periods of failure on a daily basis, punctuated only rarely by incremental progress. Am I right? One day over lunch, a student told me she was nervous about talking to a professor about a low exam score. Before she left, I said, just remember that you have intrinsic worth apart from your accomplishments. And she was stunned and said, is that really true? <laughs> I mean, doesn't everyone judge you based on your accomplishments? Oh, right. But the thing about intrinsic worth is that you have it inherently. It's part of your personhood. You can't earn it with accomplishments, and therefore you can't lose it with failures. Nothing can take it away. But it's easy to forget, since the world often reduces us to the sum of our achievements and has a long memory of our failures. It's tough to believe something if no one else affirms it, even if it is true. Two weeks later, I saw the same student on the M2 shuttle heading back to Cambridge from the medical school. It's two miles away, so during the next 45 minutes on the bus, <laughs> she asked me how my research was going. Poorly, as usual, I replied. And immediately she said, well, remember you have intrinsic worth apart from your accomplishments. <laughs> I had to smile. A student actually remembered something I said. But seriously, her reminder really struck me. And as I pondered it over the years, I realized that intrinsic worth is at the core of resolving those nagging questions. Why take risks when they come at such a cost? and how to even dare in the face of crushing failure. Having worth that cannot be lost provides the strength to persevere. You have a reserve you can draw upon when everything is falling apart and you feel unjustly pressed on all sides. Not everything is on the line because even when you fail, you still have worth. You can still get up again. Failure doesn't have to destroy you, which means you can afford to be bold, to resist the crowd, to do what's right. Usually, challenges to take risks ultimately appeal to our narcissism with promises of high risk, high reward. However, this is an ineffective motivator since most of us are jaded, low-risk, high-reward people. It's also called being logical. 
But recognizing intrinsic worth in other people broadens our perspective. My student leader told me that knowing her own worth changed her life. How much more life-changing, disruptive even, would it be if we affirmed worth not only in ourselves, but also in other people? What if we acted like it? Wouldn't we be a bit more compassionate, a bit more considerate in criticism, a bit more courageous to fight injustice? How different our news headlines would be. A person has inherent value. It's part of our shared humanity, and that should compel us to act boldly for the sake of others, even when it's costly. Recognizing intrinsic worth simultaneously motivates and sustains us to take those risks to change the world. And we mustn't think that changing the world only applies to special people with special circumstances to help the poor or the sick or a developing country far away. Every person fundamentally desires to be fully known and fully loved despite their flaws in essence, to have their intrinsic worth affirmed. So as my student did for me, remind each other in the midst of life's trivialities and great opportunities, you have extraordinary worth apart from your accomplishments, and nothing can remove it, not even yourself. And if you live confident that your worth is already secure, then you might actually begin to change the world.